All right, what's going on everybody today? I'm making this video on everything you need to start in your very own pressure washing and soft washing business in 2024. Now, I'm kind of up high right now because I'm kind of stuck, so um, bear with me, but um, I'll also put links down in the description to everything that you guys see here, Amazon links. Um, if you guys purchase from those links, I get a small, small percentage, so it would help me out greatly. But um, yeah, I'll link them all down below to Amazon. So starting over here, I have 250 feet of Flexilla garden hose. Flexilla is, I think, the best garden hose that you can find. Um, it's super lightweight and super flexible and um, easy to cut up if you need like spare pieces like that. So Flexilla is crucial. Um, and then everything that you guys see here, obviously not what you need, but um, it's kind of like the bare minimum when you get into this um, sort of business. So, um, but yeah, so over there, that's for um, water that goes into my buffer tank right there. So um, I connect to a spigot at my customer's house for that. So I just unwind it and that feeds all the way to my buffer tank. And this is a Hudson float valve, which is down below in the tank. Let's see if I can actually show you guys real quick. So take that off and you can kind of see it. So when the water hits that level, it cuts off so it doesn't overflow your tank. Um, buffer tanks are great if you have a four gallon a minute or eight gallon a minute. Um, so usually residential houses, they only produce so much water um, and your pressure washer can only, can take a lot more water than um, the water pushes out of the residential house. So I also have videos on how to plumb up a uh, buffer tank and plumb basically everything you guys see here so go check that out on my channel um, but basically it feeds to my buffer tank um, which right here this is for soft washing so soft washing is um, more harder chemicals and use that for siding or roofs or anything like that um, so that feeds to my buffer tank and then i made drop sticks right here and in my sodium hypochlorite tank you guys might hear SH a lot with pressure washing. Um, it's just short for sodium hypochlorite, which is basically bleach, but it's a commercial grade bleach, which is like around 12% um, bleach. And your residential or your household bleach, they just buy at your store is usually 1% uh, or 2%. So commercial grade bleach is way better for pressure washing and soft washing. So basically that all feeds from this tank as well which is my surfactant tank, which is basically just soap. Um, the soap helps it all stick onto the surfaces that you're spraying it on. And it also helps it smell a little better too, so it doesn't really smell like um, straight bleach. So this goes to my proportioner, which I can change with just a quick twist here to um, see how many, or change the proportions on what, um, how much chemical I need. So. If I, so this is my sodium hypochlorite. So say I'm doing a roof. A roof is usually around 4% mix. So I'll just turn that to four, turn the water all the way on, and now I'll kind of dilute it to be a 4% mix. So yeah, going um, a little more forward than that. This is my, let me get down really quick. This is my high pressure hose. So I have 200 feet of that, which that is connected to my pressure washer right there. Um, I'll explain a little bit more about that. But th and then over here is my soft wash hose. So I have a ST510 gun with a J rod. That's a J rod. Um, so you can change um, the spraying, the uh, certain amount of spray and rinsing with that little J rod. And it has a quick necks on all of them. Um, and then, so this all feeds to my pump, my soft wash pump which is a 12 volt, 5.5 gallon a minute Everflow pump. And I also have a car battery in there to give it um, the, the energy that it needs, you know, just to, to start it. So um, and then I just have a switch that I programmed. I didn't program, I just hooked it up. And so I can turn it on and off and that will, the second I turn it on, it starts pulling from all my tanks and mix my own batch. So you don't need this proportioner right there in order to get started. So 
you can batch mix. So I have a video on how to mix your own batches too. Um, so you can kind of dilute it and just keep one big tank in a trailer or a car or wherever. Um, or you can use a pump up sprayer like that for spraying your sodium hypochlorite, which I highly recommend when you're just starting off. Um, and over here is my four gallon a minute, 4,000 PSI pressure washer. This is a Honda. I highly recommend getting a Honda engine because they last a lot longer and they are just more durable and they produce, produce a, a ton of uh, power. So yeah, that's basically it over there. And then over here, you can't really see, but that is my surface cleaner. So it sits right in my trailer, but um, when you guys need your surface cleaner, you can just quick connect it to here. You can switch between your gun and your surface cleaner, um, and then use your high pressure hose that way. So, and then over here where my buffer tank is, I have a dump valve. So I can just turn that on to dump all of the water out that's left over in here out. And then the other one, I turn that on and it feeds to my pressure washer. So my pressure washer pulls water from the tank um, to my high pressure hose. So I know it might seem a little, pretty confusing it was for me at first but once you really dive into it i have a bunch of other videos on how to plumb everything so um go check that out on my channel it's called um how to plumb your i actually forgot what it's called but it's got um 8, views i think right now so i think it's how to put together your um, pressure washing trailer so um right here this is all around like nine thousand dollars so um it takes time to put it all together but once you get it all fit, um, it will help you tremendously. And this trailer is a five and a half feet wide by eight feet long, just to help you guys out with a reference. So, and these reels are all 18 inch reels. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Let me know if you have any questions about starting your very own pressure washing business. Um, go check out my channel. I have a ton of other videos, how to land commercial jobs and residential jobs and how to cold call and everything basically so go check those out i'll put links down in the description to everything that you guys see here so you guys can go purchase um, anything and yeah that's basically it best of luck and go get that money peace